Yes, Lord. Yes, God. I'm Taja. And I'm Taja. And we are your hosts and creators. You're now listening to Mark, the Godly Woman Podcast. This podcast was created to empower and uplift women on the beauty of being a godly woman. You've never fit in because you were born to stand out. Since you're marked, so embrace it and be you. This podcast is God-centered and approved. Join us weekly for compelling conversations on God's goodness, our lives, and growing deeper in your faith. Peace and blessings. Everyone, this is episode one of the more godly woman podcast. Yes, hope y'all can hear me properly. Hmm. It's not like I'm whispering. Oh, but I'm not because you know we can we can hear here, but you know we're speaking out. We hope you guys can hear us as loud as we hear ourselves, and that makes sense. I'm gonna hold my microphone. Ty just gonna. I'm. Gonna, I was trying to be. Sit down. Because for some reason it feels comfortable when I just hold the mic and speak. You know it just keeps sliding down. Okay, it's how it's gonna be. <laughs> but we're about to get ready to record the audio. We just want to start off by giving a big shout out to our Heavenly Father, the Waymaker, a miracle worker. If you ain't G-O-D, then you don't really put no fear in me. The man of stairs. We thank you, God, for your grace and your mercy. Without you, this would not be possible. And we appreciate you, our listeners, for sticking with us. And we know it's not by happenstance that you're here. But without further ado, let's get into the first official episode of Mark, the Godly Woman Yay! <laughs> yes, Lord. Yes, yes God. God. Hello, guys. So, the meaning of marked. So, one day, I was driving in my car. I was just trying to think of a business idea, kind of like just to name a, a clothing brand. And out of the blue, I just got this image in my mind. And the image was basically the people marking their doorposts in Egypt before the Passover. And... If you guys know that story in the Bible, they had to mark the sides of the doors and the top of their door frames and the Lord would pass over them and their their children would be killed, their firstborn child. So I was like, wow, I like that. And so as I read deeper into the meaning, I saw the word marked in the scripture. So now I'm going to read the scripture for y'all. But the blood on your doorposts will serve as a sign marking the houses where you are staying when i see the blood i will pass over you this plague of death would not touch you when i strike the land of egypt so i was like wow marked they marked their doorposts that was very powerful to me and i did not let that image that was in my mind just fade away i kept it in my mind and i told Taja. <laughs> but as i continue to read um exodus chapter 12 I kind of thought that thought about how we're all marked for like a different purpose yes. in our lives and everybody has a different impact everybody has a different purpose and a different destiny and it's up to us to listen to God to lead us to that purpose so, so yes good. that blood on the doorpost was very strong in my mind marked. and yes. marked so it's up to us to let God transform our lives and be marked as Christians on earth. Sis, you marked. Whether you believe it or not, you're marked. So this idea of starting a podcast, it literally came to me during my quiet time with God. I was praying, asking God, like, God, how can I spread your word to people? Like, I just feel like in this season in my life i should spread the word more i should share your goodness and like all the blessings that you've been giving me so i knew i wanted to share the word with the people but i didn't know how and i was praying and i was like god what can i do there's so many platforms that i can post and share 
her goodness with people on. So out of the blue, it was like podcast was just just popped up in my mind. I was like, God, you need to do a podcast. A podcast. <laughs> you need to do a podcast. I literally listen to podcasts all the time. And God was like, Yeah, you. I want you to do a podcast. And I was like, God, what? <laughs> Y'all, I literally got so afraid. I was like, God, but how how can I do like how can I start that? I have to get all this equipment and what what websites can I use to upload the Y'all, oh, I was literally doubting myself and I was doubting God in that moment, y'all. Literally. And I really had to catch myself. I was like, Tay, you know when you're doubting God, you're doubting the goodness that he can do in your life. Right? And y'all, this scripture literally it just came to my mind when I was thinking about the situation. For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but power and of love and of sound mind. Yes, God. Yes, Lord, you have. So I had to block out of all, like I had to block out all of those negative thoughts that I was having, all those doubts that I was feeling. And I knew that God wanted me to share his word. So I had to fulfill that. So I just kept thinking about my imperfections and how I wasn't perfect. And I was like, God, how can you use me to share the word? Like, I'm not perfect. I don't do everything right. I fall short of the glory all the time. So you want me? And God was like, then you ask me. <laughs> how you can share the word I was like God you right me. you right and God. I showed you <laughs> and you showed me <laughs> but yes y'all so whenever she came to me with the idea I was like yes I literally shared the idea with Taja <laughs> and at first I was so nervous about it I was like Taja I was like Taja why are you nervous you know Taja gonna say girl yeah you know I do it with you of course so I told her she was like oh yeah we could do that we you want to start I was like look at God and it's like literally after that, everything started falling into place, y'all. Like when it came to graphics, like color scheme ideas, the, the name of the podcast, everything just fell in line so smoothly, y'all. God was literally just working everything out. And it's so amazing how everything just fell into place. You right. Yes, y'all. Yes, yeah, so whenever she told me that she wanted to do a podcast, I was like, well, I kind of had like a, a idea for a business name in my mind. Mm -hmm. And I told her, and I was like, wow, this is this, this goes together. Right. And God was really working, like, and on both of us at the same time. We didn't even know. That's amazing. That's how, that's how you work. You work in the serious way. <laughs> <laughs> but, y'all, whenever God places something on your heart for you to do, don't think about how you're not good enough. God, how? God is like, I, I don't care what you did in the past. I'm not worried about that. God does not call the equipped. He equips the called. If he placed it in your heart for you to do it, I promise you, there is nothing or no one who can stop you from doing that. I promise you. And the more and more you try to turn away from what God has for you to do, the harder it's going to become. I'm telling you, the harder it is going to become for you to walk out your purpose. Because you're like, oh, God did tell me to do it. <laughs> he, he did tell me, but God, I don't think I'm ready and on a daily, you're going to be convicted of like, you know what? I need to do I it. I do it. I need to start that business. I need to go back to school. Yes, y'all. So the meaning behind our scripture and our scripture for our podcast is 1 John chapter 2, verse 27. I'm going to go ahead and read that for y'all right now. Read it for us, But you have received the Holy Spirit. And he lives within you. So you do not need anyone to teach you what is true. For the Spirit teaches you everything you need to know. And what he teaches is true. It is not a lie. So just as he taught you, remain in fellowship with Christ. So a little background about 227. So I know a lot of you guys, when you're in school, you have different times when you got class, when school ends. So when I was in high school, school ended at 227. And y'all, that time literally just stuck with me. I just like, I wait on 227 so I can go home, boom. 227, <laughs> go. Where you at? So, well, even as I graduated, I would find myself looking at the at the clock at 227. And I'm like, I keep looking at the time, it's 227. Like every day I look at the, my phone, it's like, oh, it's 227. So I just, I looked up those numbers and I found that they're like angel numbers. And wow. basically, 27 means good news. 
my and god also it means that your mission is being revealed to you so i was like wow is podcast might be a mission of mine that god um has placed in my life because those numbers just kept popping up and so then we kind of looked into um different bible verses and we found that john was a great one because it just really relates with us as christians to just believe in the holy spirit and just not let what the what people around you affect how 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 you feel about god right and then yes so we have to just learn how to obey the spirit and what god is telling us despite what other people may say mm -hmm. we have to believe it believe in christ at the end of the day so that scripture says so you don't need anyone to teach you what is true depending on the God. spirit the spirit teaches you everything you need to know the spirit is within us all and if you're trying to do wrong the spirit uh, don't you when you wake up and you want to get on instagram pray, uh, did you pray did you pray did you thank god for the day but you on instagram just scrolling away sis put that phone down and get in your word no ma'am open up that bible how do you need to how do you need to spread Christ today. Yes. What does God say you should do first? Well, right. What does God want you to do today? Ask him that. Spend some time with him first. And then you know you can get into checking the emails and all those things. But spend time yes. with God first. So a good question to ask yourself like every day is, how am I seeking God in everything I do? Yes. Like you should be seeking God in all things. Constantly. Not just when you when you wake up in the morning. Right. Or throughout your day throughout your day all day all day and night <laughs> <laughs> yes lord yes god yes ladies so we're now coming to a close we hope you enjoyed today's podcast so now that you've listened you are officially marked sis Period. So come back for our weekly compelling conversations about God's goodness and growing deeper in your faith. Yes, so welcome to the sisterhood. We're in whether you like it or not. <laughs> Four lifer. Four lifers. Thank y'all so much for listening and watching. And watching because we are live on YouTube. <laughs> we live, baby. And make sure you test positive for faith. Period. Testing positive for faith. And thank you. For the rest of our lives. Yes, Lord, yes, God. Yes, Lord, yes. You are Marxist. Hey, hey. You are Marxist. Hey, hey. Gully Woman Podcast. Gully Woman Podcast. Gully Woman Podcast. Gully Woman Podcast. M A R K E D, you mark. M A R K E D, you mark. A. <laughs> but yes, guys, come back and listen to us again next Please week. Please come back. Please come back. Yes, Lord. And comment how you felt about today's podcast. Leave a review as well. And let us know if you're feeling it. If you're not, this is our first podcast, and we just really had a good time with it. You're just having fun in the Lord. This is what happens when you keep God in the center. Everything else is follows. In the center of everything. Bye, guys. We hope you guys enjoy Yay. watching. This is our first podcast. See y'all next time. Make sure you guys go listen to our podcast on Apple Music, Anchor, Spotify, Google Play, everywhere. <clears throat> oh, period. You are Marxist. You are my sis. <laughs> Got it going podcast. Got it going podcast.